I think I should be able to finish it within today because I am making it more cropped. It's been like over a week that they've been having this jackhammer and it just feels even louder and louder every day. Okay, so I have decided to scrap it. Here we are. It's Oh my gosh, that took me three hours, three and a half hours. Wow. Okay, well. Okay, need to take advantage of this time while the jackhammer has stopped. So hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Michelle and today I'm going to challenge myself to see if I can make my newest top in one day. So I recently designed what I call my Anza top. I'll insert a picture here or here, somewhere here. And yeah, I've created and written a pattern for it, but I wanted to step out of my neutral colored comfort zone and kind of venture out now that we're approaching summer. So yesterday, shout out to Rachel, I was talking with her. I don't know if you're watching, but hi, Rachel. Um, I went out to Michael's and I bought Karen. This is their cotton ripple cakes. I've been in search of 100% cotton yarn that can be my go-to. I haven't found it yet. I made my previous top in Lion Brand Yarns, their 24-7 cotton. I like that one and it gave really good stitch definition, but it did kind of hurt my hands after a while. Maybe I should have put lotion or something, but I didn't mind that one, but I still want to explore other options. Back to the yarn that I will be using. It's this yarn right here. It's a weight three yarn, and then it's in the color clay pot. I think I should be able to finish it within today because I am making it more cropped. It should work up a bit faster, but I don't want to jinx myself, so we'll see. I'm gonna eat my lunch first, so I probably won't start until 12 p.m. Got my coffee, go bears. My lunch, which is some mung beans, and then I topped it with some bean sprouts. I'm gonna eat up my lunch, and then we'll get started. Okay, I'm sorry, little rant. It's been like over a week that they've been having this jackhammer and it just feels even louder and louder every day. I'm pretty sure I'm like right next to where they're doing construction right now. Cause when I sit on the floor, I can feel the vibrations from it. Anyway, just gonna deal with it. Do a lot of background music so y'all don't have to endure this, but yeah. Okay, rant over, let's begin. <laughs> Hello, voiceover Michelle here. So she gonna be popping in and out of this video, but if y'all have any cotton yarn recommendations, definitely leave them in the comments down below since I'm still in search of kind of my holy grails of cotton yarn. I already messed up my own pattern. Undo. This is what I've completed so far. I don't know how I feel about it with this yarn because I know it's called ripple yarn. I did expect it to have variations in like the thickness, but I feel like it doesn't work with this stitch. So I don't know if I'm really feeling this. I might have to pivot and just use another cotton yarn that I probably go back to the Lion brand yarn that I have more of. Make it again in black, but this time obviously making it in the cropped version rather than the long version I originally made. So. I don't know, we'll see. I think this would definitely work well with larger stitches and a bigger hook. So then it makes more of like a very loose and drapey piece rather than something with tight stitching like this. So might have to pivot, I don't know. I'm gonna think about this for a few minutes and check back in, so we'll see. So what ended up happening was that during the testing process, as I was recording this, Rachel used this yarn and just went up a hook size or two and hers turned out beautifully. I totally should have just thought of that and gone in that direction and this piece would have worked up even faster, but it's okay, you live and you learn, right? I have decided to scrap it with this yarn. I'm still keeping it. I really love the feeling and the texture of this yarn. I just played around with a few different hook sizes and different stitches, and then I ended up just doing a small, small swatch of back loop half double crochets with a five millimeter hook and I'm more satisfied with that when I'm using bigger stitches 
I think it looks better with like looser and drapier garments. So I think I might just pivot and then go back to my Lion Brand 24-7 cotton in black. So this is me stepping back into my neutral comfort zone. Just kidding. Well, I'm using what I have. So I'm gonna use the rest of that yarn and then just make the crop version and we'll see how that goes today. It's about 1.30, so we'll see the progress I make within today. It's not looking too, too good, but I'm still optimistic that I can get most of it done today, hopefully, cross my fingers. So we'll check back in once I get started again. Take two, let's do this again. So I grabbed my Lion Brand 24-7 cotton yarn in black. I will probably buy this again in a different color that's not black to see how the sheen and just color payoff is with this top um, because black is black. So I do wanna see how it works out with other colors. To start, I'll be using the rest of the yarn I had left over from my first top. Now it's about 2 p.m. because I've been experimenting with other yarns in the meantime just to make sure I really do want to go with black again. It seems like this cotton yarn is probably going to work out best for the top in the time being. So yeah, I'm just going to get started again and we'll see if I can make up for lost time somehow. <laughs> So a little bit about my pattern, it's actually really straightforward in construction where it's two panels and then you're essentially connecting it together. And I've streamlined the whole pattern to make it as efficient as possible. So literally everything you need to do is within the pattern itself. I created a whole measurement worksheet since it is made to measure. I instruct how to measure, what to measure for, and even provide space for you to fill in the blanks of your measurements. And then I've also provided little boxes so you can write it down as you work, all the row counts, stitch counts, and chains. And yeah, so if you're interested, I'll leave my Etsy and my Ravelry down below and that's where you can purchase the pattern if you're interested in making one yourself. Okay, here we are. It's like 30 minutes later. Here we are. Okay. Here we are. Uh, uh. Let me make this quick. Here we are. It's like 30 minutes later. This is my progress update on the piece. We're getting somewhere. It is a lot smaller than the one I made before. So we're making good time. Um, so now I'm gonna move on to the second section of this panel and we'll see. I think it'll take me about an hour or so. So I'll check back in with you once I reach that section or once I, once I end that section. Yeah, okay, let's go editing Michelle here. It's two months later from when I recorded this. I'm just now getting around to editing it, but basically we're at the two month mark and they still are doing construction. At least the jackhammer isn't here every day, but still, it's still going on. So I just finished the second section and instead of one hour, it took me two. So I'm kind of underestimating how long this is taking me but I'm gonna power through keep going and I think I have a little more energy now that the construction people have left I can kind of focus a little more and I'm not as on edge hearing that and feeling the ground shake every two seconds so we'll update you once I finish this panel so we'll see I just finished the first part of the pattern and now I'm going to move on to the second. I think that took me around, let's see, I started around 2 p.m. I believe and now it's 5.30. Oh my gosh, that took me three hours, three and a half hours. Wow. Okay, well, let's just move on to the second part 
because it's probably going to take me hopefully a little faster now that it's like, well, I mean, it has been muscle memory with this stitch, but let's see if I can make this faster than three and a half hours. Cross my fingers. I already jinxed everything earlier, so. Oh God, watching myself back on video is so bad because I see my neck is like, my, my whole posture is bad in general because I'm crocheting all day um but yeah i need to work on that so if y'all are crocheting right now or knitting to this video like take a little break stretch stand up do a little wiggle a little something get moving every like 20 minutes or so i need to be better about that Dinner time. Be right back. And I'm back. Let's keep going. Okay. I'm done. Not done done. But I'm done with the second section. So now I can move on to the neck portion. And that should work up fairly fast in comparison to what I have been making. So right now it's 8.16. I'm hoping I can finish by, I don't know, let's ballpark it like 10, 11, 11? I'll, I'll, mm, I think I can finish by 10, hopefully. I don't know. But regardless, I'm feeling confident now that we can finish this within today and then I'll take photos tomorrow. Also, I don't know if y'all have peeped, but I'm pointing it out now. That brown thing on the pillow back there is basically my first knitted sweater vest that I designed. And the piece was getting so repetitive on the back panel that I used this top to kind of break up the monotony between projects. But expect a video coming out sometime whenever I get to editing it um, for that piece. Cheers on my first knitted piece. My first knitted piece designed by me yeah <laughs> So I'll finish that up and then tomorrow I'm gonna go to sleep because I'm tired but tomorrow when there's obviously better lighting I'll take photos and everything and show you the final product so I did it despite everything that's happened today I did it we are it is the next day and this is the final piece I did it I finished it in one in one day <laughs> I really liked how it turned out we've got the crop length which I think really works with my stature since I am a little more on the petite side I do love the proportions of how it lays on my body in comparison to the longer version I've made before. We've got the open sides and the mock neck for a sophisticated kind of look. So I'm really proud of how this piece turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you know how to crochet and you wanna make this yourself, I do have a pattern that's already out. It's a made to measure pattern. So I've constructed a whole worksheet that tells you how to measure, what to measure for, and has space for you to fill in all the details there. It's really straightforward. So I'll link that down in the description box if you wanna check that out. Thanks for following along on this journey. I hope you enjoyed it. If you wanna see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and hit that thumbs up button. It does help me grow as a small creator 
getting there slowly but surely we're getting there <laughs> so thanks again for following along and i'll see you next time bye Thank you.